Hey guys, welcome back to fm8tutorials.com. This is part three in the trap production with FM8 feature we've been doing this month. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the rise synth. I played for you there, and also the lead synth. And of course, in part one and part two of these tutorials this month, we went through how to kind of synthesize this drum beat that we made in FM8 and then the sim, uh, the sub sound sorry, in the ARP in part 2 and in part 4 we're going to start getting into sort of processing these sounds you know using some compression and EQ to just kind of finish it off really so yeah with this rise synth let's start here then in FM8 and start off by creating a new sound here and go for the ops section first and program some of these operators so for operator F we're going to have a sawtooth wave and take the ratio down to 0.5 quite simple so far and operator E needs to turn that on and route that, we're actually going to route these operators through a filter so to route this at a slightly quieter volume of around 64 F's going in there at 100 so full volume into the filter turn the fil filter on route that to the output of full volume too so yeah operator E I'm going to take the ratio to 0.25 I'm going to have a short try state for this operator So you should have something like that so far. Okay, operator D, turn that on. This is going to route through the filter around 50. And we're going to have a square wave for this operator. And keep the ratio at 1. So let's push the cutoff up for this filter now, too. So it's going to hear the top end there. And operator C, turn that on. It's going to route into the filter around 65 or 66. And for operator C, we're going to have a parabole waveform. But put, we take the ratio up to 1.5. And then let's start doing some routing in the FM matrix to just help the character of the sound a little bit more. So I'm going to route C into D, 11. I'm going to route also C into E at about 9. And into F at 14. And there are quite subtle differences in the sound, but it's all going to help the tone. And when we start adding some extra voices and stuff, and and some kind of detune and analog and digital stuff in the master section, it will just all come together a bit more. So I'm going to root C into itself as well, and D as well, both at about 22, and then E slightly less, maybe about 18, 19 and F again about 19 and now let's move to the master section and you just, just increase the voices to 4 make it sound monophonic and take the detune right up to around 72 and take the pan position to full basically so pan those voices out really wide and you get that nice kind of sort of quality on the sound. Let's take the analog slider up as well to about 85 and digital as well just to bit crush the sound a little bit so about 60 
and that's the tone of our sound kind of done there really the next thing we want to do is set the envelope to just give it that nice kind of shape that we had there so let's move to the envelope section and we can actually link all of these envelopes that we're using C through to F and we want them all to be tempo synced as well and this where it gets a little bit more tricky just setting this nice envelope so we can maybe start by using one of these pattern loops here but we want this envelope looping over a longer sequence than 2 over 4 we want it looping over 4 over 4 so drag this sustain point out to over here and let's check this motor fixed so it's now going to loop over this section and yeah these should all be linked now as well so they're all on fixed let's move back to F this can be the master envelope for this sound let's start off by taking this last pointer right to the back zooming in slightly So we want that kind of gated sort of synth effect really, so this can be just like a little last something like that should do. The next one we want on a three over four. So pull this around here. So play a note now. So that's the last two kind of notes of that hook sort of sorted. Push that back a little bit as well. So we've got slightly different lengths on those two notes there. And drag this third note right back to around here. Okay, so we want a couple more points in here, just one about there. And this first point, we want to kind of drag this out. This is sort of the first sustain note on there, so. Decay up, something like that. And then add control click in here and just add a couple more points to add a, an extra little note in here right on the one over four. that's sounding pretty cool a nice kind of shape and it is really fiddly sometimes these envelopes in FM8 but this is I think one of the most powerful parts of the synth where you can just customize your own envelopes and just create your own crazy sort of sequences and patterns and stuff like that so yeah it is quite fiddly that envelope section but once you've got your head around it it is very powerful so yeah go back to the master section and just take the, the synth up by two octaves something I forgot to do before and let's move over to the effects section next and just put a shelving EQ in there and just boost some of those high frequencies and a peak EQ as well to just kind of boost some mids as well and some kind of yeah boost some highs again And some reverb is always nice on a sound like this. Let's 
push the bright up to 100 and pull the dry wet down to around 30. And so the last thing to do with this sound now really is, well we can set a filter for it so as we've got all the envelopes rooting through this filter here just pull this resonance down a little bit. The resonance is adding quite a nice kind of character to the sound but just tame that first resonance on, fil on, the on filter 1 a little bit. Keep the mode on low pass, the cut off on 100. Filter 2, push the spread up to 100. Resonance can stay around halfway. Mode again on low pass. So the next thing to do with this sound really is set the pitch envelope and pitch amount to give us that kind of nice rising pitch kind of effect on the sound. So push the envelope amount up to around 72 and let's just pull this kind of sustain section out with the envelope tempo synced around over here somewhere over the 13 over 2 kind of mark and just this sustain section just wants to stay on full so the pitch kind of slides up. maybe just pull the start of the pitch kind of rise sound down a little bit so it starts a little bit lower on the pitch and then rises right up can even add a little bit of curve to that pitch rise here as well so that's the pitch rise sorted now let's go and remake this lead synth here so next up is this lead sound here, so let's create a new sound in FM8 for this section. And this should be a bit more straightforward than the previous sound to recreate, because essentially we want a lead sound to follow that same kind of envelope that we had for the pitch rise sound. So let's start by setting the operators here. And so for operator F, you'll have a square wave, set the ratio to 2 and route this through a filter. Not going to do much on the filter for this sound but it's just so we've got the, the control to just sweep the cut off. Push the cut off frequency up to 100 and just keep everything else the same for this filter. Make sure F's rooting through the filter at a full volume of 100 there and turn on operator E. Let's move back to the operator section and this is going to be a saw wave. The ratio of 2.0016 just to detune it slightly to just give us a nice kind of thick sound so yeah this can root into the filter around half the volume so about 50 and just feed F into itself a bit just to give us a nice bit of crunchiness on the sound let's move to the master section next boost the voices up to 6 make the sound monophonic and push the detune just past halfway and the pan around about the same just past halfway and next up the analog slider can go to about halfway as well and just a small amount of digital bit crushing this is quite a nice tone on the sound there quite a nice simple but just smooth and clean kind of lead sound really so next thing we can do is set these envelopes so operators E and F we can link these tempo sync them and we want them to follow the same envelope as what we set for the rise sound so what we can do here is with this envelope that we made previously save this into an empty slot there say and load it into this lead sound So we've got that nice kind of consistency with the rise being the same kind of envelope shape as the lead. So make sure the mode's on fixed just in case you do any edits to this envelope. It stays on this fixed loop here. So we can add some effects on this sound as well. Just the peak EQ to just to boost some of the mids and tops.
and a little bit of reverb. And just keep everything the same but pull the dry wet down to around about a third of the way up. And the only other thing we really need to set with this sound is this pitch envelope. So for starters, let's take the envelope amount up to around 56, just so this envelope is having a larger effect on these operators. And I'm going to tempo sync this envelope. And want something that starts off quite a high pitch and then slopes down and then rises back up again. So almost creating like a riff just using this pitch and not actually doing anything the, the sound there is just a C3 note so take the sustain out to around the 4 over 4 mark and then just push it right up there like that and set, check the motor fix so the, the, the envelope will rise up and as long as the note sustained it will stay on this pitch up here so So it's rising up there and then it's just looping over this section when it reaches this kind of sustain loop. So we can do more in this, this kind of attack phase of the sound here. So start off with the pitch right up high like that. Put a kind of another envelope point in there and just pull this down to around about a kind of level of yeah, about, the set of levels on about zero. So it's kind of coming down to halfway and then pull this decay right down so it's a bit plucky so it's like that you get that nice pluck and that nice kind of transient attack on the sound so I'm push that decay up slightly there and then we don't want it kind of when I made this sound it's quite cool to not rise straight up like that so we put another envelope point in and just kept it at that sort of the level of zero for a bit so just about to the 2 over 4, it just the level, the pitch kind of stays as it is. And then it just rises up. So yeah, there's our kind of lead sound put together there really. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch, let us know. And yeah, I hope to see you for part four of this feature where we're going to be processing some of these sounds we've been making in the previous tutorials and just taking it away from the kind of FM8 synthesizer and more into kind of compressors and EQs and distortion units and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.